That's one of the reasons why we come out here, just to encourage at least one night a year that we can get out, walk the neighborhood, say hi, you know, just to help you guys meet your neighbors, encourage them to meet their neighbors, because all successes we know evolve around relationships. This is an important event. This is an initiative that we started several years ago, Operation Safe Neighborhoods, and that's exactly what it means. We want to make all of our neighborhoods, regardless of where you live in the city of Tallahassee, safe. Tonight we're doing Operation Safe Neighborhoods. It's our third year of this program. It's a community based program in partnership with the police department. Some people feel that anytime a crime occurs, it's a police issue. Some people feel that it's a neighborhood issue that's not their neighborhood, so it's not their problem. And it was an opportunity to try to bring everybody together, the community, the police, different city departments, different agencies together, and make people aware of what's going on in our community. Every year we've had a different theme. This year our theme is Light Up the Neighborhood. City of Tallahassee Utilities partnered with us and provided a thousand light bulbs for people to put out their front porch lights and turn them on. Obviously, people who commit crimes don't want to be identified and so symbolically about lighting up the neighborhood as well as also providing a deterrent to crime occurring. Getting started, we're going to break up into groups like we did last week, but each group will get at least two bags. It already has the pamphlets in it and the light bulbs. Just remind neighbors when we go up and talk to them, that we're providing this information on auto burglary, residential burglary, and personal safety. They're all safety tips, and that we're asking that they turn their porch light on at night to help do away with crime in the neighborhood. We're uh, partnered with the Neighborhood Association, the police department, city of Tallahassee. If you have any questions or any concerns, we're here to listen. Yeah. Wonderful, wonderful. Great. Thank um, you so much. Yeah. All, right. All right. Have a good evening. Okay. Yeah. Ernie This is Henderson Officer Combs. We're at our first and safe neighborhood, the residents in the area. And so we're just passing out these pamphlets, which got personal safety information and also information on how to keep your property and your vehicle safe. I guess what I would say, nobody bothers us over here. Uh -huh. you know? Okay. Well, like I said, if you see anything or anything comes about, if you want to make it aware, please feel free to call us. And if I see your neighborhood, I'll wait in the center. I appreciate it because I've been living here since 1985. Okay. I was born in 84. <laughs> it's very good to know that they're concerned about our neighborhood. If there's anything in the neighborhood you want us to know about, give us a call. If you see something suspicious, let us know. All that's right, well, thank you. Yep, okay. you have a good one. Okay, you too. I think that's a really good idea, and it makes us feel safer. It makes us feel that, you know, someone does have our back. Use the other door. There's your sign. A light bulb. And all we ask is that, you know, at night you just turn your porch light on to prevent people from walking through your yard and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right, have a safe night, all right? Thank you, ma'am. Police can't be everywhere all the time. So they need our neighbors to be their eyes and ears sometimes. So there's numbers on the back of this okay. little pamphlet that you can call. Get over here. Uh, yeah, I think they hit this one already, but we haven't got this one yet. We always need to uh, see our officers in the neighborhood every night then. They have to keep everything calm, you know? Most people call us when things aren't going right in their life. They've been the victim of a crime, there's some type of crisis at home, and it's very hard to build a relationship at that time. And so events like tonight with Operation Safe Neighborhoods, all the different programs that we work with Parks and Recreation and our other partner agencies with throughout the year are opportunities to build that trust and develop that relationship so that way when something's wrong, that you already have a strong relationship there, and, and that's critical. All right, man, take care of yourself. I sure will, thank you. Yes, ma'am.